Hello everyone, I am Molly Kulbe and I am going to narrate to you a poem written by me. Uh, the context of the poem is that during my travels, how my soul wants to explore and experience more and more stuff, whereas my heart wants to sit and absorb whatever is around, pet more doggos and stuff like that. So it's a conundrum which I have to face during my travel and I wanted to put it down into words. I know if you will relate to it or not. Um, so here I go. <laughs> a traveler's soul in a stationary heart. I wasn't one of those who froze and absorbed the place. How it lazed, the million parts it holds, and told the same story repeatedly. I was among the ones who tread gleefully to uncharted locations, to all the major attractions. One who would fear to miss out on whatever little things the world had told the mighty and bold who didn't hold on to their mundanities. But my heart was different. It didn't wonder when its spirits dwindle. Instead, it finds a cozy corner which reminds it of the places bygone, the house you once called home, the love that was meant to be, whose fragrance is as fresh as fresh lily. My heart is different from my soul. You can't control either of the two. One wants to gallop and run free. Other fancies itself as a tree. One is a wild horse, while other pretends to be a mother, who in times of uncertainty, which surety, wants to surrender to the place you call home. My soul collects experiences with longitudinal perspectives. It doesn't stay put and would cut the one who tries to chain the reign of its meandering identity, the uncaged personality. My heart is simple. It doesn't have much impulse. It has small dreams to live with the ones it loves and a work that it believes. It doesn't want to race to a new place of no meaning and importance. My soul feels like the wave which even the oceans can't capture. My heart is like a mountain which no one can rupture. Mountains, as you know, are maternal, always looking over. They hover for your protection. Waves, as you know, is a spirit who can't be domesticated. It is childlike. You can't strike. It's an anomaly how I am surviving with the traveler's soul and a stationary heart within, with the spirit ready to flock and a heart with golden lock. It's such tragedy. The one who makes the best camaraderie are the ones who run away from each other. Thank you.